Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerben, and this is your tutorial for the week. Today I'm going to go back into Moho and do some more work. We're going to look at how we can modify a Photoshop document and update it inside of Moho so that we can modify as we continue to rig. But before I go in and start working on this tutorial, I just wanted to take a moment, and this is something I don't do on this channel. I always wanted this channel to be just about tutorials. Uh, I don't want to go into anything else, but I feel we are at a point where there's no longer a choice to ignore what's going on in the world. There is a lot of bad stuff going on in the world. It seems like every day when I wake up, and I'm sure when you wake up, you're seeing something terrible, whether it's on the news, whether it's on Twitter, Facebook, whether it's political, <clears throat> whether it's some maniac shooting and killing 59 people, whether it's a hurricane devastating a colony and help not getting there and people suffering and dying, whether it's another hurricane hitting another part of the world, not just the United States, this is a worldwide thing. There are many things happening and it feels almost irresponsible for me just to come on each week and do a tutorial and pretend like nothing is happening. And while that is useful because we all do have to live our lives and move on and do what we do, we can't ignore what's going on. We can't. Because the more we ignore it, the worse it's going to get. And it's just not going to be sustainable. So I'm just simply using my voice to put a spotlight on what's going on. And the thing I can do in addition to what I do is I try to donate and I try to help. I want to just send some links to you guys. I have them in my description box. If you feel you can donate or help in any way to anything, and it doesn't have to be one specific thing, please do so. Because right now the world needs help and it needs people who are good and it needs people who are willing to do what's necessary to make this world a better place. So thank you for listening, and let's get to the tutorial. Last week we set up an image rig using smooth joint binding, and we used a Photoshop document to set up this rig. And the process worked pretty good. It brought all of our layers in from Photoshop and lines them up inside of a group layer. From there you can make it a bone and then assign your bones and make it all work. But there are also other advantages to working with Photoshop documents, especially if you're working inside of Moho. And I am in Moho this week. Last week I was in Anime Studio because Moho wasn't working, but after downgrading to 12.0, the software crashes less and actually works with the bones and it's a miracle, it actually works. So um, anyway, what I want to do though is jump over to Photoshop and make some changes just to show you how easy this is. This is kind of a quick and easy tutorial, but that's okay. We want to come in now and first make some changes to the Photoshop document. One issue we had with the original rig, if I jump back to Moho again, is come down here and if we grab the transform bone tool and I move the arm, you can see that the arm, especially right here, overlaps the collar. And that's something we really don't want because that is just not how it should look. It shouldn't be overlapping right there. It's fine if it overlaps down here, but it shouldn't where it's currently at. Now, we could go into Photoshop and remove part of the arm and try to restructure the shadow. But in this case, I think the best solution is just to move that arm. So we could just move the arm down and attach it closer to the shadow like that. So whenever we decide to make changes to the animation, we won't have that overlap, unless if it comes up like this. Like that, it's fine. And from there, we can use constraints to hone that in further if we wish. But you could also, if you want, just to cover yourself inside of Photoshop, let me jump back over there, is let's just duplicate the body really quick. I'll hold an Alt, and drag up to duplicate that body. So we'll bring it up to, let's just say, above the eyes for right now. And we're just going to zoom in. I'll take the lasso tool 
And we're just going to cut off this part right here. So I'm just going to come in and let's just go right about there with the shadow and come up. And then I'll use Command Shift I to do a reverse selection or an inverse selection, I should say. And then hit the delete key to trim that up. Now we'll have to do a little bit more work here. So I'm just going to hide the actual body and then I can come in with my magic wand or any of the tools you can use with Photoshop just to select the remaining areas outside of this collar and remove them. And from here, what I'll actually do then is just take the eraser to clean up the other spots. So I'll just come in and just go like this. And again, this might not be necessary. I'm more or less showing you how you can add to your rig if you feel other pieces are needed once it's inside a moho. But here you have a collar piece now, and it can be placed in above the arm if needed. So we're just going to rename this to collar, and we should be good to go. We've done some other things here as well. I added a cap just temporarily. I'll reveal that and we can zoom out. And you can see there's now this little cap on top of his head. We'll also use that as an example for how we can update our rigs. And finally, let me do something simple. I can come in with the paint bucket and let's select a different color. I'll select more of an orange color, let's say. Perhaps something like this and then click OK. I'm now going to click on the belt buckle. <laughs> let's make sure we are on the body before we do that. Click on the belt buckle and now we have changed the color. Now I'm not quite sure if I want that color, but I just wanted to again demonstrate how this works. So once you have made all of your changes, just save the document, Command S or Control S if you're on Windows. And now we are going to jump back to Moho. Now once you do this, Moho will recognize that the Photoshop document has been updated and it will act accordingly. You'll see that we now have cap and collar on the list and our belt buckle has changed color. And again, I did absolutely nothing. All I did was just jump back to the application. So really showing you this tutorial is kind of a waste <laughs> because really I'm just sort of winging it and showing you how it works. But you can see here the cap is in place and everything is good to go. We have one item right here that it doesn't know what it is. I'm not quite sure how that got in there in ellipse. I think that was from one of my tests, so we're just going to remove that. But everything else is looking good. And you can just continue working then. You can see, for instance, now that collar piece is in place. So if I wanted to, I would have more control. Now there's still that issue. So I would still need to move the arm. So I can go to this frame as an example, and we can move that arm. And of course you need to attach that collar bone or that collar piece to the bone. So let me click on the collar and then click on that top bone and you can see now it attaches. But when we come in and we have the arm moving, there might be less chance of that issue occurring with that piece in place. It also gives us kind of a natural barrier as well. So when we hit that point, we have a little bit more leeway. And again, you can also approach this using other methods to correct that. And of course, those are other methods I can touch on in other tutorials because I plan to continue just building with this and creating a bunch of Moho tutorials as well as After Effects, Animate CC, and yeah, whatever I want to do, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. I know, again, it's kind of a skimpy tutorial, but it's been, it's been a hell of a week, let's face it. So next week, I will do something a little bit more substantial, but hopefully this helps you if you have been involved and are working with Photoshop documents inside of Moho. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.